Should we talk? Should I talk about bug capping? Yeah, definitely. So one of the issues we face when providing good deer habitat, like we have in the stand, is that they want to eat. Uh, they want to nip the regen because the the buds of a white pine provide really good nutrients for deer, and so what we uh, what we end up with, we've got this nice group of individuals here that the, the results of leaving the trees, the mature trees, worked. We got regen, but one of the issues that we then have to deal with is that uh, the deer are going to want to eat, eat the buds off the regen. Um, so what we do is what's called, uh, it's a pretty standard technique called bug capping. So in the fall, we come around and we staple uh, basically just a piece of paper around the bud and then in the spring we come and take it off so that we still have these buds. If we don't have these buds, the tree can't keep growing. Um, so here's its, its cousin, best friend right here, is a good example of what happens when we don't uh, adequately bug cap is that the, the deer come and they nip off the top bud and sometimes the, uh, the lateral leaders as well. And so this tree um, won't survive this uh, this herbivory, so that tree is lost, but because we we did what we need to and saved a couple of the trees around here, did the bug capping, that means that from this group, we're hoping to at least have one survivor that makes it to maturity and, and uh, attains a canopy position. Uh, one of the other threats that I face too is being too nervous about losing a few individuals. So I'm okay losing a couple of individuals because my long-term goal, I know that the density of trees, this density of trees will never survive. And when I look at, at the density of the mature trees, I know that there's about, on average, probably um, five to 30 feet between the mature trees. So if I, my long-term goal for this group here is that I need one individual to survive. Um, and I can get really, if I come in here in year, year four through year nine, and I could get really nervous that, oh no, I'm losing a couple. Um, I'm lo losing a couple of individuals. If I lose sight of my longer term goal, which is I need at least one individual out of here to survive. So one of the, one of the threats I face is, is what I call helicopter parenting in forestry, where it's I need this, uh, I have this specific um, short-term goal, and maybe maybe it's happening perfectly, maybe it's not happening perfectly. Uh, but sometimes, as a forester, I need to just step back and say, "Okay, nature's going to move a little bit slower than I might want it, and there's going to be some natural thinning that happens here." But uh, but that's okay. So I need to not be too active. I need to be active active enough to make sure my long-term goals can be met but not so active that I get uh, too worried about losing one individual.